guys, Matt here, Home Farm Ideas, and today um, I wanted to go over something that I was having a problem with. Um, I'm still kind of having a problem with in my aquaponics system, um, and that's solids getting into and throughout my system. As you guys know, I have zip grow towers, and you can check out the videos on the card section here. I also have Dutch buckets. You can check out the videos at the card section as well. Um, but basically, those, uh, both of those areas, they use smaller tubing. Um, and when you use smaller tubing in an aquaponic system and you don't separate out the solids, you're going to get clogs. And I don't get tons of clogs, but when I get clogs, I get them, you know. And so um, some of you guys also know that are following me on Instagram that I have something that I've actually developed myself, <laughs> which it's not a, that big of a deal. Um, and then I also um, created myself through a 3D printer, okay? And so I printed this thing off. I wanted to show it to you guys. I wanted to show you um, and, and let you guys know the reason why I got this going. So I'm going to show you the, the, the issue that I'm having. And then I'm going to show you how I basically um, got rid of the issue or how I'm getting rid of the issue. This is going to be an ongoing video, though, because I have to show you guys kind of the results after I start using this thing. But... Um, I just wanted to share it with you guys so you guys can check it out and maybe come up with cooler ideas that I could use to actually separate out solids, okay? Um, I know in the aquaponic world, this is kind of an ongoing issue with a lot of different people. And some people say, oh, you know what, if it flows into your, um, your flood and drain beds, you're fine, you're fine. Um, but I also have, I have other beds and stuff that don't have just flood and drain. So I have an area that I grow aquatic plants um, for fish tanks actually and uh, a lot of those solids end up in there. So With that said, let's check out the issue and then we'll go from there Okay, one more thing before we get started guys join my Instagram um, Instagram.com forward slash home farm ideas. It'll be in the comment section below Everything that I say in this video that I can link to will be in the comment section below as well um, And I'm gonna be doing a lot of videos on 3d printing on my science channel and also my fish tank channel Which are both linked below as well Okay, so this is part of the issue here. Okay, so I have my grow towers, my zip grow towers, right? And at the tops of these, um, they get clogged with fish poop a lot of the time, those smaller tubes that are coming out up there. So I need to fix it for that. And then it's the same issue here with my Dutch buckets. So these lines here, they tend to get clogged. Like this one, I think is pretty clogged actually. Now that I'm picking it up, I know it's just not traveling up uphill real. But these get clogged as well. Okay, you can't have things getting clogged because you're gonna you're gonna have a problem in your system. All right, and then here is the main issue. So I grow a lot of aquatic plants here. I mean, I sold like today alone. I sold probably like I don't know $150 worth of plants. But I don't want to be cleaning this out, and I don't want to send this nasty stuff to people that are buying from me. So I wanna clear all this out. And in order for me to do that, I have to situate things to where it's gonna clear out almost all of the solids. Now I'm gonna get algae and stuff like that. That's fine. I got other ways that I can deal with that, the hair algae, but for now, I just wanna get the clogs and all these this fish manure crap uh, out of my system. This is what I have right now that's dealing with most of the solids. And it does work. Don't get me wrong. This works. Okay. But the issue I'm having is, see the sock filter that I have over that, that pipe? Um, well, let me pan it up a little bit here. That is my swirl filter right there. Okay. Most of the solids stay at the bottom. A lot of them still, they come up and then they come over here and then they go down into my sump tank. Okay. When they go into my sump tank, the blades uh, of my pump, pump pumps them back up into the grow beds, and I don't want that, okay? So what I did was I put a sock uh, filter there, four inch sock filter, and I have some scrubber pads and stuff like that inside this bucket, okay? The problem is, is that the solids build up on the sides. I just cleaned this today. The, the solids build up on the side of that sock filter, and what ends up happening is, is just the sides of the sidewalls of that sock filter get clogged. Now, that means that it fills up really quick and then it just spills over. Can't have that. That's that's not filtering. That's, that's filtering out a lot of the solids to the sides, but then 
the whole sock needs to be um, filled up with manure and all that stuff. So what I want to do is I want to I want to have more sock filters and then spread that water out um, throughout uh, four of these sock filters. So that's what I printed. Surprise, right? <laughs> I printed a, a four inch sock filter that has actually a dome around it or a dome, a little barrier around it like a box. And it'll sit on top of this. I gotta, I gotta fit it to this though, but it'll sit on top of this bucket. I could have printed it out to where it'll fit to the bucket, but it would have just taken a lot longer. And I might do that in um, later updates to this filter, but um, I built this thing from scratch. I mean, I used a caliper and, and I measured everything on this sock filter uh, when it comes to connecting it at the top, okay? So I built this all from scratch. I'm not a designer. Um, I'm not an engineer, but I'd like to be one day. Uh, that would be cool. So anyways, let's go ahead and let's check it out. All right, guys, here it is. I know it's not... It's not rocket science, it's not any of that stuff, but um, basically, I wish I would have printed it to fit to the bucket, um, but like I said, it's gonna take a lot more uh, printing time. This took me 32 hours to print, but it's solid, okay? The only thing is, is that I'm having issues with the brand new printer I bought, of course, right? But as you can see, I put some etching in there as well. Four inch, uh, four inch aquaponics sock filter, right? And basically what this does, I mean, you could already see what it does, basically. It holds these sock filters in place, okay? And um, that's basically what it does. <laughs> Let me put this one back in, okay? Uh, and, you know, if I had these just sitting on top, like, like something like that, right? Um, there's a possibility of things going bad, basically. So what I did was I countersunk them, and they fit tight. Some of them don't. But I, I thought it was me, but like this one right here, it's it's actually the uh, the ring on these are a little different. Like this one and this one, they're different from these two. These two are sticking really good. So, but that's what I built. I built a four stage sock filter, and I'm gonna put it in the bucket that's already in my aquaponic system. Um, but I just put it here just for for uh, looks purposes to where you can see it. And then I also printed something on the other side. <laughs> Let's see youtube.com forward slash home farm ideas so you know i built it <laughs> so um if you guys want this i did put a um uh i'll put a link below on my thingiverse account follow me over there you guys and um uh it's 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 just something i created to help me with my aquaponic system to separate solids so and i think this is really going to do it so the idea for me is um the water is going to hit here, but I, I could put something always right there, something to where it'll spread it out more. But the idea is, is these will fill up a lot slower, but even if one fills up faster than the others, it doesn't matter because eventually it'll go all the way to the top and then it'll have to spill over to these other ones because of this barrier. Okay. So that barrier is going to make sure that the water always stays in here until they're all four full, then it'll spill over. Okay. But by then, I mean, that should take a long time. It also gave me the ability to, to crank down the micro, the, 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 uh, the basically the little, uh, I think they're called microns, yeah. The microns on this so that it catches really fine solids. The other filter that I had over there in the system, it, it, it'll catch solids, but it's not gonna catch as much as these. These are actually really fine filters. Um, and the fact that it's gonna be going through them slowly, um, it'll basically um, have time to have the water dissipate out of them instead of filling up too fast. Um, like, you know, the other one was filling up too fast and stuff was getting stuck to the sides. So this one, in, in theory, will work better because it'll be slower separating the water. So, um, with that said, I do need to silicone it up um, because there are spots from faulty printing that have like little tiny cuts that I don't want water getting into this thing. So I'm gonna just put some seal on the edges and then seal wherever I see it, uh, an issue, and then um, I'll go from there. So I'm gonna do an update video because I don't want these videos to be super long. But the next time we see this, uh, make sure you subscribe um, and hit that bell icon so you get video updates. But the next time you see this, it's gonna be in my system and it's gonna be filtering out solids. I'm gonna put it in that bucket 
And then um, I might do a follow-up video after that just to see how it was working. But I want you guys to see me actually put it in there and everything. So, all right, you guys, hopefully this uh, video helps someone out there. Go to Thingiverse, get this file. If you have an ST, uh, um, if you have a 3D printer, you can print this off. And like I said, it took about 32 hours to, to print at 40% uh, infill. So you can do a 30% a infill or 20% if you want. I just did something that was going to be a lot more solid. So anyway, all right. God bless you guys. And like always, peace. Check out my Instagram, comments, questions, suggestions, all below, please. Uh, I love getting feedback from you guys. All right, later. All right. Let's get this sucker in there. Let's see. Yeah, I told you next video. <laughs>